Now pleased to be joined by Andrew DiBetetto, the head men's golf coach at North Carolina. And coming off a strong fall campaign, Andrew, I'm wondering, how do you try to keep this team rolling with the same momentum with the spring upon us? Um, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. Uh, we're really fortunate right now. Um, you know, we have a, a really good team, a talented team. Um, you know, but the really fun part for me and Clarky, Coach Clark, uh, it's basically that they're they're even better people than they are golfers, which is saying something. Uh, you know, you've gotten a chance to be around our guys uh, a little bit, and they just have a variety of personalities, which makes it fun. Um, but they also, all of them, work exceptionally hard. Um, you know, and they've been doing that all off season. The off season isn't really an off season. Uh, I think I heard you mention, you know, David Ford just won the Jones Cup, uh, so obviously he's playing well. Peter Fountain finished fourth in that same tournament. Uh, you know, point is our group of guys, all of us, we, we love competition. Uh, basically, I mean, we can't wait to get started in Hawaii in a couple weeks. As one of the best teams in the nation, how do you as a coach and your program deal with expectations both internally and from the outside as well? Yeah, I think um, that's a really good question. I think, uh, you know, the good news uh, for us is we've already kind of dealt with that a little bit earlier in the season. Um, you know, we were, we were preseason number one. Uh, first tournament was was pretty good, okay, um, and then we had a, a really rough go at Olympia Fields. Uh, I think we finished in 11th place there, um, but basically what happened there was uh, that created an opportunity for us to deal with adversity, especially early in the season, and, uh, and have some incredible conversations uh, with each other, kind of get back to what we do, um, focus on ourselves, focus on our process, be ourselves. Uh, and then obviously, you know, the results, the rest of the way in the fall, the, those final three tournaments were, were pretty awesome. So that doesn't mean that, um, you know, we're not going to get hit with adversity again. Uh, it doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect, but uh, I love our guys. I love our group. Um, like I said earlier, our guys love competition. They want pressure. Um, and usually I'd say the more adversity that our group has, uh, the better we are. Uh, again, doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect, but um, our guys do a really good job preparing to be elite, both physically and mentally. You're in your sixth season as head coach of the Tar Heels after six years as an assistant coach. How have you been able to create the dynamic and make this program one of the very best over the past few seasons? Um, well, I think the first thing is that UNC, uh, we're really fortunate to have an amazing university. Um, we have an amazing community. We have great academics. Uh, and then the other really cool part for us as we have an incredible athletic department, right? Carolina basketball is Carolina basketball. Um, women's soccer has won 22 national championships. They uh, were runner up, lost in the in the championship game um, this past fall. Uh, field hockey has won, I think, four of the last five national championships. Women's lacrosse went undefeated last spring, won a national championship. So it just seems like every team on campus is highly ranked and has a chance to win. Uh, so you're you're surrounded by the best of the best, um, which is rare and amazing and special. And then specific to our golf program, um, yeah, I think we could talk about probably a, a couple things here, a few things, but really the most important part of our program uh, right now is our culture and our people. Uh, having Coach Clark uh, Clarky here is absolutely amazing. And then we tell people all the time we we try to be s extremely purposeful in our recruiting, right? So. You know, do the rankings matter, scores, uh, talents, like all that stuff, obviously. Like, of course they do. Um, but to us, like the human being means so much more. Uh, so we try to bring in, you know, blue collar young men, young people who are gracious and kind, but uh, basically guys that have a massive chip on their shoulder. Uh, and like I've said a couple of times, they absolutely love competition, like love, love, love competition. Um, and we recruit those guys and, uh, we've been fortunate to bring a group together that is just absolutely relentless in their pursuit to get better. Uh, you know, and, and then with that, once you have that group and you kind of know their goals and their ambitions, uh, you're able to give that group a lot of freedom and a lot of ownership of, of their life and their golf games. Um, I know it's a cliche, but we're very process oriented. Uh, and it's just, it's been a really good formula so far. Uh, we're family oriented. So we laugh, we joke. I mean, you've seen us do that. Um, but we also know when to be serious. We know when to compete. Uh, so I guess in short point is, um, 
you know, right now, young men are coming here. They're having a lot of fun. They're building relationships and they're developing on and off the golf course. It certainly works so far. We appreciate the time. Look forward to watching you and the team throughout the course of the spring. And I know I'm a week late, Andrew, but uh, happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Andrew DiBattetto, head men's golf coach from North Carolina, joining us. One of the top storylines in the men's game this year has been an amazing freshman class across the country led by Tennessee's Caleb Surratt. We'll introduce you to some of the other top freshmen in the nation right after this.